Hello, everybody out there in the land to make believe this is the holier than hell Reverend Bark Me Laughing Wolf, Submortal, Cheerleader to the Apocalypse, and Diabolical Minion of Good. Hi, everybody. And this is my stock BBSHD 46 tooth chain ring came with my uh, BBSHD Hot Rod Edition from Luna Cycle. It's kind of heavy. Kind of heavy. And this is my Luna Eclipse 42 tooth chain ring in red. It ran about, ran, runs about 90 bucks there on the Luna cycle. Uh, you know, uh, you know, the website, man. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, and uh, I like it quite a bit. But uh, I'll tell you, from the time I got the uh, 46 tooth chain ring till this very moment with my current setup, I was having a lot of problems with my chain, you know, slipping and skipping and stretching and jumping and talking shit above my mother and she's going, uh, so, uh, so I had to make a lot of adjustments from, uh, stock to, uh, 42 tooth Luna, got some, up uh, uh, accoutrement, accoutrement. Uh, so, I'll go through it with you guys here, right now, which is the purpose of this video. Okay, so, um, the first thing that was going on is that it was, uh, I wanted to get, I got this right away. <clears throat> and I'm telling you what, if you guys, are, if you're looking on a Luna site and you're like, oh, I'm going to get one of those, just get it. If it's in stock, get the thing. Get the thing, order the thing, because it might not be in stock next time you go to get it. They, they're, they're stock. They seem to have everything some of the time so just get it when you can especially if it's on sale go ahead snatch that up go ahead buy it set it aside make a pile for yourself that's what that's what i'm doing i'm stockpiling parts uh so i got this when i got the uh bbs hd i also purchased this couldn't get it on right away um the the first problem i had was that uh i didn't have uh uh, it needed a, a spacer. So, and I think it came with a spacer, but it needed another spacer. So I got another spacer, and then that still needed another spacer. So I ended up with three spacers. So if you do get the uh, uh, Eclipse, go ahead and get some, some spacers, uh, just in case. See, I'm real tight in here, still, already. So, um, uh, and this is with three spacers. And uh, I'm doing, uh, I'm riding a, uh, a Haro Double Peak Trail 29er bike is uh, what I got with uh, Fat Franks and a uh, nine-speed cassette. So I was having trouble uh, getting it switched out. This was jumping and skipping. And uh, I, I think, you know, I might have lost... Uh, I might have actually lost the chain once where the chain actually came off during a ride, but I don't, it could have been user error. I was just getting used to using this uh, mid-drive. I was riding a hub before. Um, so I did switch to this before my first 1,000 miles, but by then my chain had stretched out. Now I'm running a, a KMC X9E, a KMC next X9E, which uh, KMC makes specifically for the electric bikes. And these run about 40 bucks. Uh, I saw them on sale. I snatched up uh, uh, three or four of them. I got a little pile of them going. So the first one stretched out in the first thousand miles. And I, I was running, you know, the 46 tooth on it for at least 500 of those miles before I managed to collect enough spacers to get this uh, bad boy put on there. Uh, so it stretched out. I, I actually went through a cassette after my first thousand miles too. And um, then I got the 42 tooth uh, chain ring put on here. And I, I, I watched a lot of videos and you know, there's a lot of dynamics involved in going from a larger chain ring to a smaller chain ring. Uh, there's power variables. Is it more torque? Is it less torque? There's a lot of information out there. If you're interested in knowing about that, go online. Maybe I'll make another video after I have it figured out. Um, but 
it does change the dynamics and I, I, I it changed it for the, a positive for me just the riding dynamics I liked the smaller chain ring better than the larger chain ring and uh, it just it's easier to ride it's easier to ride the bike so I don't know you know is it faster is it slower I I didn't see uh, that much of a difference but I'm not out there going crazy. I'm not taking trails or anything like that. I'm just commuting. I'm a commuter. I do, I do, I do run it up a pretty. I do get it up to some pretty good speeds um, on a regular basis. Uh, but uh, I just use it. I just use it. You know, just to commute. So chain stretched out. Put on a new strange chain. Strange stranges or chains. I uh, put on a, a new chain. A new cassette. Uh, got my 42 tooth going. Everything was not okay because it was just slipping. I was getting out. And, it, you know, it shifted okay, but it wasn't great. Um, but it was slipping. I was getting a lot of slipping in the back cassette. And, but it was catching. The teeth were catching in the front. I solved all my front issues. Still having issues in the back until I added this uh, little chain guide. It's a chain guide or chain uh, tensioner and there's a lot of different models this is the one that they had at the bike shop right and this one runs about 30 bucks so i was at the bike shop i'm like and i had read about these quite a bit and i'm like okay let me try this and we, uh, they had one we put one on bingo all right so since then now i've put a thousand miles on this new chain it's still good to go. It's no, there's not enough stretching where anybody's worried about it. I'll probably get at least another 500. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing this uh, Fox glove uh, to keep crap off my fingers. Now, do I love those Fox gloves? Sure. These are great gloves. Do I use them? No. These are my, my gloves in the thing. I use the in-bike gloves still. And there's a, down on my channel, there's a review of the in-bike gloves. But these, these are great gloves. But I'm getting them greasy because they, they're, they're my extra gloves. So I don't care. I don't care about them. I, didn't want to, I got things to do later, so I don't want to grease on my fingers. That's all. Um, so I put on this chain guide, 42 tooth, no stretching, no jumping, no clicking. Everything's working just a-okay. So uh, those are fixes. If you're having problems, now, I've, I've read online of people, they're, they're losing their chains all the time. Now, they're, uh, they're trail bike guys, uh, so their, their chains are coming off while they're trail biking. So I don't know, you know, my chain, if I was up jumping, jumping to rocks and, and, and hucking myself, uh, then, uh, you know, yeah, but then maybe I would have still have some problems, but I'm not doing that. I'm a commuter. This is a commuter bike. That's right, commuter bike. So uh, those are my tips and my tricks on how to solve some problems, and or at least this is just what I did. And maybe you're like, uh, that guy's an idiot. I wouldn't do any of that stuff. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm crazy. I do things. I do things that I, I don't necessarily suggest anybody else do, but work for me. Work for me. Don't forget to get extra spacers for sure. Uh, until next time, ride safe, be seen, and have fun.